What's going on everybody? It's Rick from Garden with Bar Chucking. This is the natural bedding bin. It's Worm Wednesday and just a few days ago I bowled another 300 which was pretty cool. Hopefully I can get a little video together for you to check it out. Bubble wrap seems to be doing a very good job. Definitely helping with the moisture, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. Basically, ran out of time to try to do a harvest, but focusing on trying to get these worms fed, and uh, I'll get in there hopefully before the next feeding and get that harvested so that we can load this up with fresh bedding. Let's see, I see I put um, blueberry trimmings that I had in here. So I'm figuring that's gonna take a little bit of time. There was a butternut squash that was in here from the last feeding. I remember I had, there's basically that's all that's left, some seeds and a little piece of paper skin. Um, I had that nice tomato and it looks like that's all gone. And I added some uh, of the pulp from the juicer you can see that this backside very dry so I'm going to try to incorporate that into that feeding area okay looks like this is just a stick here's our mango seed Pop that back there for right now. So, this is really good. Still have a bunch of bedding from that last feeding I did. Um, I'm liking that. When I do go ahead and harvest this, I will be adding a bunch of fresh bedding and I'll mix everything up so I can get you know some of these castings incorporated with everything today's feeding i have a tomato that i went ahead and, and harvested but it ended up getting a little bit of mold on it so the worms are getting this one i cooked some butternut squash and i actually uh sprinkled a little cinnamon on here so i don't know if the worms are going to dig and groove on that or not but We'll find out hopefully for the next feeding. And a nice large handful of the pulp from the juicer. I want to go ahead and stick those guys back into the feeding area. With the feedings, I like to add grit for the worms. This is ground up eggshell. There's a few things that it can do. It can help buffer the pH in the bin. It also helps to add some calcium. And the main reason is it gives it grit for the worms. So when they go ahead and take little bites and squirm around, they use that to actually help digest and break the food down. And because it's been a little while, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of azomite powder too. I like making sure that I cover the food scraps with some of the castings. Pretty much everything goes into the freezer first. So that helps 
to help eliminate a little bit of the pest like fruit flies and uh, fungus gnats and things like that. If you've seen, I have a ton of the little isopods. I'm fine with that. They help break down everything. I just don't want the flying insects. And then to the top of the feeding area, I like to go ahead and add some worm chow. This goes ahead and gives the worm something to eat right now while the food scraps start getting the biology from the bin and start breaking down with the microbes. Then the worms can go after that. So when they go ahead and crawl around the top, they can have the worm chow first. It's just expired oats, flour, cornmeal, and a little bit of eggshell. So one thing I'm interested to see over here is if this still has a lot of worms in it. The other day, this didn't have much, but this side still had quite a few worms in there. So this section here looks really good. That section there looked really good. And there's still some worms right in there as I started. So I don't want to add them back into this area that doesn't have any worms. I'll just kind of leave them there and hopefully they start migrating into the feeding area and then I can come in, harvest this section definitely and hopefully there'll be less in here and I can get most of those castings out too. So if you guys have any questions, don't forget to drop them down in the comments. Thanks for coming along and checking out this natural bedding bin. Everybody have a great day.